How's it going, guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another EA Sports College Football 25 Dynasty video here today. So, as per usual, we're spinning the wheel to see what team we are going to be using because uh, I've not yet to receive a res uh, recommendation for a team. So, if you guys want to leave me team ideas down below in the comments or other videos, <coughs> few ideas, wow, my throat was not very clear there, but yeah, leave me some uh, video ideas down below in the comments, teams, whatever you have for me. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and join the content. Comment down below some more video ideas. We have our socials, play the second channel and main channel down below in the description if you like the content for TJP, as well as the rules. Four seasons, injuries are on. Obviously not to be realistic. We might miss some names. If we do, we do. It's a video game at the end of the day. Don't take it too seriously. We're here to have fun and see how well we can get our school to perform. So... Let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so I have my wheel of teams. So we're going to spin if we land on Arkansas State or if we land on Wisconsin. We will not be doing those states or those teams. And we have an interesting one here. Okay, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish is going to be our next team. That is uh, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. All right, let's get on into it. All right, so here we are in the game. Let's take a look here at the team. We're going to view the roster. So Notre Dame, they're a five-star program, by the way. So it, it's a, I would like to win maybe, you know, the college football playoff would be nice. Uh, QBs, we got uh, Riley Leonard, senior. He's going to be our starter. We got Love, Prin, uh, Price, and then Payne as your halfbacks. No fullbacks on the team. We have uh, Mitchell, Collins, Thomas. Great house. So there's some good pieces here. Evans is our tight end. Mitchell Evans, our best uh, tight end. Uh, Charles, our left tackle. We got a couple of good left guards here. But again, a lot of seniors. Upperclassmen, Ashton Craig, center, right guard. Billy, uh, Schroth, or Scroth. Um, Baker, right tackle, as well as uh, Wagner. Uh, we've got uh, Oban, left end, uh, Batello, right end with uh, Bubakar. Uh, we've got Cross, the third defense attack with Mills, Hinnish. I mean, some good pieces here. Kaiser, Bowen, and then um, Kingston. we got uh, Jalen Sneed, pretty cool. And then Osberry. And then uh, Benjamin Morrison, 94 overall corner, our best player, and he's a junior. So, you know, and we also have Xavier Watts. He's a senior as well. Free safety, strong safety there. And then we get our kicking and our punting. So we have a good team. And the good thing about the Notre Dame Fighting Irish is they're a well-established program. So there are going to be a lot of players that want to come to our team. So recruiting is going to be fun. I expect us to get some five stars for sure. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to want to join our team. Um, I see some first options, which are nice. So we'll try to get like target some of these guys. Um, I'm also going to look at the top prospects just because um, I feel like most of these guys are maybe going to be open, maybe not. We'll throw Qualls. I mean, right end. He's going to be like he's going to be pretty good. Um, I don't know how many of these guys have interest. A few guys here. Uh, we'll target um, Bethel. We'll go for Muller. We'll go for Carr. Strong safety. Dom. I mean, I, I'm going for as much as I can in terms of uh, talented pieces. Um, I don't know what about, we have any QBs here that we could go after? I mean, I guess, I guess Vernon Naylor wouldn't be terrible. We'll throw him one as well. I mean, I feel like we got some targets. I think we'll start with that. See how that kind of progresses and hopefully get some, uh, guys on the team. Should be fun. Um, I don't think anyone's going to offer, uh, accept a scholarship outright, so. But yeah, let's keep scouting and see who we can get. All right, so we got uh, FPS Independent Defense Player of the Week, North North Illinois. Uh, Jalen Sneed uh, hit a great game, five tackles. So shout out to him. Right outside linebacker. We're 2 0 so far early on the season, but uh, I like the start. I like the start. Collins, 
Offense Player of the Week versus Purdue. Six reception, 100 yards, two TDs. Shout out to Bo and your contribution to our program. First commit here, Eric Ladd from Fairfax, Virginia. Four-star cornerback coming to our team. As well as Conrad Kuberski from Montvale, New Jersey. Four-star free safety joining the Fighting Irish next season. We love to see it. We got our next commit, George Vohasek from Avon, Indiana. Four-star coming to our program. Thank you, George, for making the right decision. As well as Max Bethel from Danbury, Connecticut. Four-star cornerback joining our program next season. And also Conrad Mueller from Pemberville, Ohio. Four-star left tackle. I love it. Fantastic. And Morgan Hopper, left outside linebacker from Cleveland, Ohio, is also going to be joining the squad. Ourselves defense player of the week uh, versus Louisville. Riley Mills, senior, four tackles and three tackles for losses. Shout out to him and your contributions to our program. We also have offensive player of the week here, Riley Leonard. 302 yards, one TD, no interceptions. So I love that from Riley. Congrats to you, my friend. All right, we got uh, Gerald Charles from Valparaiso. Uh, Indiana four-star recruit right tackle coming to the Fighting Irish next season. Congrats to you, Ger- Gerald, for making the right decision. As well as Dom Allers from Brownsburg, Indiana. Our first five-star recruit to accept strong safety. He's going to be a wonderful addition to our program. And then Alex Ninkovich from Brooklyn, New York. Four-star wide receiver from Brooklyn, New York. All right, we got a three-star commit. Joel Boozer, Indianapolis, Indiana. Punter. Because our punter is a graduating senior, so welcome, Boozer, to our program. As well as Brandon Toena from Lafayette, Indiana. Left outside linebacker, five-star recruit coming to our program next season. We love it. We got Jack Kaiser, a senior. Two tackles, tackles for losses, seven tackles overall. Defensive player of the week against Stanford. And we are currently undefeated and the number one ranked team in the college football right now which is awesome and then we got offense player of the week as well jeremiah love uh 14 carries 33 yard three tds not too shabby not too shabby we had two star josh stanzi from hernando mississippi left end nothing too crazy but hey we gotta add some more commits so why not stanzi we got another commit here turlock california's trayvon pleasance fullback is coming to the fighting irish next season so congrats to him for making the right decision and currently right now we are 8-0 and and i want to show you guys a quick little glance at the statistics so far uh because we are doing really well i mean the team has been excellent if you take a look at the team stats uh the team is doing great um uh so independence wise i mean we're at 3152 offensive total offensive yards Passing is the 2,276. Inter 22 rush, 37 half points a game, is fantastic. You can see the defense is looking good too. 2,400 yards allowed. Passing is pretty solid. Rush yards would be great. Only 142 points scored against us. We got 25 sacks, four fumbles, nine interceptions. Again, the team is doing fantastic. We are the number one team in the nation right now, which is pretty insane. I think we are already booked for the. Are we booked for the? I think we might be might be booked to potentially make the college football playoff, and I would assume we will. I don't know if we'll get the bye, but um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Obviously, I would like to win a bunch of games, and we'll see what happens. But we still got some recruiting to do. Try to see if we get a couple more prospects. But so far. I want to show you guys our class. We're number six right now. Two five stars, eight four stars, two three stars, and a one, uh, two, one, uh, one two star. So, I mean, we're not doing too bad. Obviously, Miami has got a lot of guys that have committed, but I mean, we're going to try to see if we can get some more guys to commit as well. Try to add some more talent to the team and the program. Another week, another commit. Jared Stripling from Youngstown, Ohio. Four star coming over to the Fighting Irish next season. I think he made the right choice. Um, I love it. That's fantastic for us. All right, we got Johnny Pounds to commit. Three-star recruit from Lawndale, California, quarterback. Adding him to our program. Not too shabby. We also got ourselves Marcus Carver, so another quarter, a quarterback. Three-star as well from Mountain View, California. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some guys fighting for that position. 
And we got uh, Brodine, or Brodine from uh, Brunswick, Ohio. Tavares Brodine, three-star from Brunswick, Ohio, like I already said. We got Treggs, three-star recruit from Cincinnati, Ohio. Right end to add to our defense. Love it. I think those are Defense Player of the Week versus Florida State. Two tackles. Not too shabby. I said Bo Collins, senior, seven reception, 18 yards, two TDs. Florida State, Offense Player of the Week. Love it. We got another commit here, right guard. Curtis Waddle from Lafayette, Indiana, four-star recruit, is joining the Fighting Irish, as well as Dave Garfield, right outside linebacker, four-star from Carmel, Indiana. We love to see them commit. Rick Bowen, sophomore, eight tackles, uh, and I think DEF is deflection. Uh, Defense Player of the Week from Bowen. Shout out to you, my friend. Do we have an Offense Player of the Week as well? We do. Once again, Bo Collins. Uh, six receptions, 77 yards, two DDs. The guy's a monster. Here, uh, Stevie Godlevsky. Godlevsky from Brooklyn. Well, Stevie's coming. Right guard, four star. Joining the Fighting Irish next season. We love to see it. Offense player, we got Riley Leonard. Quarterback, 293 yards, two TDs, no interceptions against Army. He might win the Heisman. He might have a shot. We got Jeremiah Schwab from Malden, Massachusetts. Four-star recruit is coming over to the Fighting Irish wide receiver, as well as Pat Russo from North Versailles, uh, or Versailles, uh, Pennsylvania. Four-star uh, defensive tackle. Wonderful to see. So, defense player of the week, Benjamin Morrison. Two interceptions, five tackles against USC, which is our first loss of the season, unfortunately. Um, but... I still think that we should be okay. Um, would have been nice to be undefeated, but I think we're going to be in the playoff bracket anyway. Yeah, we're going to be taking on NC State, so... I mean, that's cool. We dropped down to 7th ranked, um, but it's all good. At least we're going to be in the college football playoff. Uh, the team did well. I mean, if we take a look at the stats here, just a quick glance at them. You guys can see, yeah, Leonard had a nice year. Really solid rush-wise. Love, Leonard, Price. Um, it's pretty good. You can see the receivers were solid. I mean, I'm liking the way the team played. The sacks allowed, you guys can see, not too bad. Nobody allowed more than four. Uh, Bowen led the team in tackles with 75. And luckily, he's a sophomore, so he'll get better. <coughs> Excuse me. I might have to convince Morrison to stay, but we'll see. Um, you can see the sack leaders, interception leaders. is wonderful, so... Yeah. Beautiful stuff there. There's your kicking, your punting, your kick return, and your punt return. So, Overall, fun stuff for the team. I guess I'll just advance until we get to the point of... Playoff football. Um, but yeah, we have most of our commits here. A few other guys, like, wanted to try to get him, couldn't. He committed to Georgia. Wanted to get him, he committed to was it Tennessee. And then uh, he's going to Bowling Green. So that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know if I got a right tackle, actually. Um, I got to see if there's any right tackles that are still possibly out there. Because I'm low on right tackles. Oh, I actually do have a right tackle. What am I talking about? I got another one. But I'm, do you want to get another one? I don't know. We'll see. If I can get him, bar, why not? Just throw another. I mean, probably not going to happen. He's going to probably go to Minnesota, um, so Michigan. But we'll, we'll throw another recruit. I mean, like I said, I, I'm doing pretty good so far on the recruiting. Again, I feel like that's the main fun in this mode is trying to find guys like that. They're gems or just really good pieces to kind of continue adding to the team. I mean, we've been excellent. You look at the classes, and we're number four right now, which is awesome. It's very, very awesome. Tennessee got really good. I mean, our, 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 we're up there, though. We're definitely up there. Uh, we we got a lot of good players, and I think we're going to kind of continue to do that in the years to come. So, All right, let's head on to the playoff. Uh, I think that's where we're going to end up being. If there's any recruits that happened before then that accept, I'll let you guys know. The commit here, uh, Phoenix City's Alabama's very own jocks, or Jacques Bromel, three-star left guard, coming over to the Fighting Irish. Right. college football playoff here. NC State, 
I mean, this is big. We had a great season. I'd like to win. Um, that would be great. We have early National Signing Day, by the way, which I wonder if any of these guys, uh, any remaining targets we have will have signed yet, but it doesn't look like it. So that's fine, but, you know, we'll see what happens. No other five stars, unfortunately, so it's really just three and four, but we've had a great class, I'd say, so, you know, it's very promising. But really, what's more important now is winning this game, so let's, let's try to win. All right, unfortunately, we are on the road as well, so it's going to be a little bit tough. There they are. Pet and Furry. Or Fury. Fury? or Fu Yeah, Fury. What am I talking about? Why did I say Furry? I can't speak. Wow, his eyebrows were so, like, weird looking there. All right, I'm trying to get to the Super Sim. Can I get to the Super Sim? I don't know. But, I mean, this is kind of cool, though. I got to say, it is really cool. Um, and then there we are running out. Let's go, look at him, yeah, look at us. Alright, can we just, can we please, can I please get to the Super Sim? Can I please get to this, okay, thank you. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Jump ahead, we're going to the end of the game, I gotta slow it down, I will. Hopefully we can win it. Started off here, we are up 7-0, good start, 14-0 now, end of the first quarter. And we are now up 21-0. They gotta get a touchdown there 21 7 21 10 now going to halftime second half here end of third quarter we got another touchdown another two touchdowns 35 17 and we are going to win this game 35 to 17 and advance wonderful stuff for the fighting irish let's go i thought i thought too we had some injuries as well because our overalls were a little bit different but shout out to riley leonard 334 pass yards 76 percent completion percentage and four touchdowns Player of a game. Let's go. Discover as well. Can't forget the sponsorship. So we did it. And we're going to be advancing on to the next one. By the way, Defense Player of the Week there, Jordan Clark. Six tackles against NC State. So he had a nice game as well. So we got to highlight him. And uh, Riley Leonard, of course, Offense Player of the Week. Was super fantastic. Of course, we're highlighting him. Did not win the Heisman Award, by the way. So now we got Michigan. They're the number one overall team. It's going to be a tough matchup against them, but let's see if we can hold our own. Uh, we're about to enter the Super Sim, hopefully. I, I wish I, there was a way I can kind of fa fast forward through this, but I don't think there is. But we got the Rose Bowl game. So this is a fun one. Let's hop on to the Super Sim here. I jump ahead to the end of the game. If i got to slow it down, I shall. First quarter, we are down 7-0. 14-0 now, end of the first quarter. We got a touchdown, 14-7. Can we tie it up? Going to the first half, no, it's 17-7. 17-14, though, okay. We're only down three, then we take the lead, 21-17. Got to get a stop here. 28-17, that's huge. Michigan's going to score 25. It is tied. We got to slow this bad boy down to normal. Second to 10, three-yard rush. Fourth and four. Okay, we're hopping on in. We're hopping on in. Minute 53, they missed a field goal. And we have an opportunity to win the Rose Bowl game here. Second and four now. What are we going to do here? Riley finds an open man and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. A minute 48 to go. First and 10. I get at least field goal zone if possible. But you never know with these college games, man. I, I swear, we've had some crazy endings. That is a great pass. Great look. He will get taken down there. And the game clock continues to go down minute 35 to go and counting second and three we're gonna run the ball up the middle can we get a first we do get a first and then we get a timeout called there uh presumably by michigan to stop the clock and yes that is the case almost within the 20 yard limit there Ooh, that was bad okay that was terrible not a good run there all right well they called the timeout they have one timeout left so Second and 11. It's a loss of one. Looks like we're going to try to run it again. And then Michigan's just going to call their final timeout. We do run it. 
And we are going to, you know, get some yardage there. I mean, again, we're in field goal zone right here, so this is perfect. Minute 23 to go. No timeouts. Third and four. A first down here would basically guarantee a really good win for us. And that is a first down. Just, yep, perfect. And the clock will go down. First and ten. We just don't need, we just don't turn it over. No fumbles. Okay, that's fine. Minute seven. Minute five. Minute four. Minute three. Let's get under a minute. We're running it. Just hold on to the ball. All right. Third and six. I mean, you guys can let the play clock run down a little bit, no? I guess not. I don't know why they don't do that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we're doing it. All right. This should be an easy field goal. And it is. All right. Let's just not have anything crazy happen as it pertains to, you know. What we Here's what we don't need. Five seconds. We don't need a return to the end zone. That is the last thing we need. So. Excellent. One second. Okay. Play defense for last possession. Just play defense. Just play defense. All I ask. That was great. Oh my gosh. That was great. Excellent defense. Let's go. We, we, we survived the Rose Bowl. Shout out to the Fighting Irish. Got the job done. We are advancing as we get ourselves a Rose Bowl victory. All right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for the Fighting Irish. Love it. I like some of the players of the quarters. We got uh, Jalen Sneed, one tackle for loss, seven tackles. Junior right outside linebacker. Shout out to him, my friend. And do we have an offense player of the week? I would assume we do. We do. Jaden Thomas. Four receptions, 58 yards, four TDs for the guy. Love to see it. Here we are. It is the Cotton Bowl. The Cotton Bowl. And we are taking on the Kansas Jayhawks. Funny enough. Um, yeah, Kansas Jayhawks. And here we are. And okay. Yeah, we don't. No. We, can we skip that? Thank you. All right. I, I don't want to watch that. I'm sorry. All right. We're hopping into Super Sim. Kansas Jayhawks 11 3, 7 2 in their uh, respective conference. So. Should be a tough matchup, but let's see. End of game. That's what we're doing. Started off here. Can we take the lead in the first quarter? Yes, we can. We're up 7-0. 14-0 now. End of the first. 21-0 right now. Okay. We're going to get a touchdown now. 21-7. And we make it 24-7 in halftime and getting a field goal there. 21-10. 21-4-17 now. And they just tied up the game somehow. End of the third quarter. We take the lead. It is... Whoa. All right. I think it's 34-27. We have the ball with a minute 36. Okay, second and seven. Okay, we're hopping on in. Just going to watch the rest of this. Oh, good run up the middle. And that was their final timeout. So basically, yeah, got ourselves a first down. We should be good as long as we don't turn the ball over. I mean, again, we have a touchdown lead. Running it there. Mm, okay. Oh, that was their final timeout. Was that their final timeout? Yeah, that was their final time. My bad. They had another time. I didn't realize it. All right. Second and seven. Just got to get let the game clock go down. I mean, that was a pretty bad run. But it's okay. 56 seconds. 54. Let the play clock run down. Third and nine. Obviously, they're going to go after you. They're running it. Up the middle. First down. And that's the game. There it is. It's all we needed. First down. We can kneel it. And that'll be that. And we advance to the championship. Was it the championship? I think so. That's it. And we are Cotton Bowl winners. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are Cotton Bowl champions. So another bowl victory for us. Riley Leonard, man. It's going to be very hard to replace him. He's been pretty dang good, I got to say. So shout out to him. Uh, but yeah, what a good team win. I wonder who we're taking on in the championship. So let's highlight Riley Mills. Uh, defensive tackle, one sack, six tackles, and four tackles for losses against Kansas. He was wonderful. And then we got offense play of the week as well, right? We got our man, 
Oh, National Defense Player of the Week. Also, Riley Mills. So, thank you for your contributions, my friend. Bo Collins, of course. Three receptions, 83 yards, one TD. This dude's a legend. And did he get... No, he didn't get that. So, National Championship game. We got the Trojans. Okay, it should be a fun one. Let's do it. I'd like to win in our first season if we can. That'd be great. That'd be really great, EA. That would make me feel happy. It is in all its glory. The national championship should be a fun one here. I am super duper excited to see what will happen here in this game against USC. And it should be a good one. Presented by Allstate. Not sponsoring my video, but should. But they won't because they don't know who I am. All right. Jumping ahead to the end of the game. I'll try to make sure we get ourselves a good start. Can we do it? We're down 3-0. Make it 7-3 now. Us end the first quarter. And it is still 7-3. It is 7-6 now. It is halftime. 7-6. And we're going to make it 14-6. Us. End of the third quarter. It's 14-6. 21-6. Right now. I'm just going to adjust to normal for a second. Uh, we have the ball. And we are doing our thing out there. Can we score again? Can we score again? We're going to get a field goal here, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, 21 to 6. I mean, I oh. What was it? Was it 14 to 6 or 21? I don't even remember. Uh, we're just going to stay on normal. I don't remember. All right, pass drop there. They're, oh, wow. They went very far there. Okay, it's 21 to 13 now. I'm a little worried uh, with what is happening here. Third and six. Not good. Okay. We gotta we gotta stop. We gotta we gotta play defense here. Second and one. I'm just gonna let it advance. Get first and ten. God damn! 21 yard reception. My ass. Okay, pass drop, second and 10. Third and nine, that's good defense. Just get a stop here. Okay, fourth and six, they got a punt. Okay, they punt. 352, fair catch, called. Excuse me? We fumbled and okay. All right, we're, we're hopping on in. I, this is too crazy for me. It's 21 to 19, three minutes, 32 seconds ago. It's gonna be a long video. This is gonna be a long video. Can we not choke? Okay, that's a good play right there. Okay, is that a first down? No, just inches short. Well, less than a yard it looks like, but it's about a yard. Okay, just get across, get a first down. Beautiful, wonderful, okay. Might get to the two minute warning soon, which is totally fine if that happens. And it will happen on after this play, of course. 21 19, let's see. We're looking, looking, looking. We got ourselves a catch. And that'll take us to the two minute warning. Just about short of midfield here. We're up two, though, which is good. Second and three. Run the ball up. Is that a first down? It is not. And um, the Trojans are going to be calling timeouts. Third and inches here. A first down would be clutch. What the hell was that? Why why would we do that? <sighs> We're really going to lose this game, aren't we? We can't do that. That was that was just embarrassing. All right, we got to get a stop. That was good D. Good D, good D, good D, good D. Good D, second and 10, good D. Okay. All right, ran out of bounds. All right, third and three. Getting a stop here would be clutch. It would be absolutely clutch, but that might be asking for too much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you got to get him. All right, minute 32, though. Okay, I mean, they're not really that close to scoring, but I just I get so scared. Okay, clock is going down. 
They still have time. Two timeouts as well. That is not good. That is awful defense. Okay, well, I mean, obviously losing. I don't know how we. I don't know how we fumble the ball, and then just they return it for a touchdown and don't get a two point conversion out of it. It just doesn't make any sense. It just. It doesn't make sense. Okay, timeout. All right, what do we got? Second and seven. Please, please play some defense. Is all day. All day to throw. Where is our defense? Where the hell is our defense? What are we doing? Guys, come on. All right, they called their final timeout. I mean, like, a minute. They're in field goal range, so they're going to win this game. Oh, we called the timeout. Sorry. They're in a field goal range. They're going to win this game unless we force a fumble. Yeah, it's over. It's over. What a choke job. Should have won this game, but of course, EA screw me over in the final. In the final of, of all things. The final. Really. Fourth and seven, I mean, they're going to make this. Right? I mean, it's not It's not, imp it's not the wrong possibility to miss. Maybe? No, nah, it went right through. Well, would be like, it would be, it wouldn't be a video without us losing in the, uh, in the championship game. Man, that, that's just so frustrating. 50 seconds. We don't have any timeouts. We got to get up the field somehow, get out of bounds. If we get in the field goal range, we have a shot. Okay, we stopped. We stopped the clock. 45 seconds. Not horrible. Second and two. First down is huge here. We don't have any timeouts. That's the thing. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. All right, we got to hurry, 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 hurry. 38 seconds. Okay. We actually have a shot. Okay, EA might not screw me. All right. We spiked it. Second and ten. I don't think the clock was moving. But it's fine. Just don't turn it over here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Just go down. Hurry up. 24. Run it down. Run it down, baby. Oh my god, okay. What I don't I didn't understand that, but okay. It worked. I can't believe it. EA. But it, the game is not over yet. It is 27 to 22. The game is not over, but Jaden Thomas with a clutch catch. I and I'm not doubting Riley. Riley is so good. Let's go, Riley. That was a great pass. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Booth review. What are we reviewing? Okay. I don't know why we're going for the two. Uh, well, I, I get why we're going for the two point, actually. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. We got it. Good. Yeah. So that, that way they got to get a touchdown on a field goal. All right. 16 seconds. They have no timeouts, though. So, realistically speaking, just get them down. <gasps> fumble, fumble, recover. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Fighting Irish. And that's it. That is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are the national champions in our first season. I thought we were going to choke that game away. I thought EA was going to give me their special sauce. But oh my gosh. We won it 29-22 in our first season. Let's go. Wow. I was not expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. I am shocked beyond belief. Not because our team's not good, but because EA and their funny stuff. Oh, this! look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this geezer. Oh, brother. Shout out to Riley Leonard, man. The problem is replacing this dude. This dude's a, dude's a monster. Shout out to Riley friggin' Leonard. What a guy. What a guy. What a lad.
Dude, the team did well. I, I was scared a little bit. I was scared when I saw that we fumbled and then they get the field goal. And I was like, you know what? This game's not Madden. <laughs> it's made by EA, though. So. Why is that guy just standing there like that? I don't know why. He kind of just looks very out of place. But, hey, we got the job done. I can't be mad. Let's go. I mean, college football playoff national championship best team. Let's friggin' go. And that's really all there is to it. We had a great season. What a season. I love the way we did our thing out there. Of the week was RJ Oben, senior. Three tackles and two tackles for losses, so good for him. We love to see that. And we got Jaden Thomas clutching it out there at the end. Three receptions, 54 yards, two TDs. Absolutely love to see that. Uh, and he also had the National Offense Player of the Week, obviously. And is that it? That is it. Morrison went in the first round. Um, he had to play. We couldn't convince him. He wasn't going to be persuaded. He already got his national championship. Let the guy go make his money in the, in the NFL. I, I, I'm not mad about that. All right, we got Edward Sharp, four-star recruit to commit. I believe he was a high school one. I got a few transfers that I am scouting out as well. So Edward Sharp's coming to our team, though, as well as D'Angelo Wall, three-star from Madison, Mississippi. Love to see it as well. Miranda from Barnesville, Minnesota, four-star recruit coming over uh, to the Fighting Irish, as well as Dion Barr, three-star from Wilmette, Illinois. Thing. Four-star recruit Chicago Lenars wide receiver coming to our team, as well as Jalon Kilgore, three-star from Edenton, Georgia. Fantastic stuff. To the season here, I'm going to take a look here. We're currently ranked at number six. Uh, let's take a look at the roster now. It's going to be an interesting one considering, um, I mean, we got some good pieces. Um, our QB, though, is now going to be uh, Steve Angeli Sr. Uh, we got Mitchy. Uh, we, we got Pounds and Carver fighting, but uh, we'll see what happens there. They're obviously not ready yet, and we also have TJ Carr, who might be. I mean, I mean, these guys are kind of around the same. These guys are a little earlier, but uh, I mean, our running backs are pretty good. Just run the ball. We have three running backs that are really good, but they're, I mean, I, they're all upperclassmen, so I'm gonna have to get them to the running back. Uh, Pleasance is our fullback, and then we've got you know decent crop of wide receivers to choose from. Our tight end is uh, Rarebidon Sr. now, so that's good to see. Uh, Jagusa, uh, left tackle still. Left guard, we've got Nat Freshman. He's going to be the starter, it looks like, possibly, or Jones. We'll see which one of them starts. Craig Sr., Ashton Craig. We've got Pendleton and Odding behind him, though, so we got some depth there. Billy's here with Chan, Tarek. So, I mean, this team stacked Wagner. we got Burnham, left end, right end, uh... Traore, so that's good. And there your defensive tackles, your left outside linebackers, your mid linebackers, your right outside linebackers look good. So, I mean, it's a, it, it's a solid team. Corners, you got your free safeties, you have your strong safety, a lot of strong safeties, but kicking and then your punting looks good. So. We'll see what happens here in the second season. Obviously, we have the pressure off our back, but I mean, if we want to continue to win and repeat, we're going we're gonna to keep trying. That's for sure. Defense player of the week going to Jalen Kilgore. Uh, strong safety. One interception, eight tackles. So congrats to him. As well as uh, Steve Angeli. 363 yards, four TDs for the guy. And Syracuse. Love it. Offense player of the week. All right, we're going to shout out defense player of the week. Tyson Ford, two sacks, three tackles, one tackle for loss, defensive tackle. Nice job from him, and um, yeah, we got the W. Steven and Jilly, player of the week against Boston College. One TD, one interception, 190 yards, FBS independence. All right, we got our first commit here, three-star Terrell Bouchard, Fort Wayne, Indiana, running back. Not too bad, not too shabby, local kid. All right, we got another commit, four-star running back for Belair, Texas, Manuel Kramer, uh... That's helpful for us, for sure. Our second commit so far this year. And we got another one. Five-star Earl Gentry from Indianapolis, Indiana. Left tackle. That's a nice one. A shout-out offense for the week we, against Arizona, uh, Arkansas. We got Jeremiah Love. 12 carries, 119 yards, two TDs for the guy. Fantastic to see. Shout-out to him and his contribution to the program. We got another commit here. Adrian Groschek from Wincote, Pennsylvania. Four-star from 
yeah, he's playing defensive tackle. So, yeah, thank you to your commitment to our program next season, as well as Tracy Frank's four-star corner from Greer, South Carolina, will also be joining our program. Got ourselves a five-star commit in Damian Avant from Lawrence, Kansas. Right tackle will be joining the Fighting Irish next season, which was what we love to see. We got ourselves David Burden, another five-star. He's a, a cute quarterback. I'm um, actually another quarterback that just signed right away. Uh, I think he was, but he's defined as like an ATH an athlete. So yeah, Windsor, Colorado. But yeah, welcome to Team Burden. Thank you for the program commitment, as well as Connor McKinnon, Green Bay, Wisconsin, four-star defensive tackle, and Earl Riggs, right end, three-star from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Wonderful stuff. We got ourselves the FBS Independence Offense Player of the Week against USC. Steven Jelly Sr., 460 yards, six TDs, no interceptions. What a wonderful season, uh, game he had there. He might have been the National Player of the Week, too, but no, he wasn't. We got ourselves another commit, Ben Monk, three-star right tackle from Indianapolis, Indiana as well as Ernest Gunn, three-star, Indianapolis, Indiana defensive tackle, joining the Fighting Irish. We love to see it. And at this point, we're currently sitting at 6-3. We're back to the fifth-ranked team in the nation. Uh, we kind of got off to a bit of a slow start, but we're looking pretty solid now. Um, and we got Tyson Ford, defensive player of the week against Navy. He had a solid week, one sack, eight tackles, one tackle for loss. So wonderful stuff there from him. Cam Williams, offensive player of the week, five receptions, 18 yards, three TDs. Freshman as well, so that's good. He's going to improve, which would you love to see. Now, I could have waited to the bye, but I'm going to show you guys sort of what we've got going on team stats-wise. I mean, the team's been playing pretty well. Um, if we kind of just look at the independence, I mean, this is really where it's at. We're at 3,721 yards, 2,646 pass, 893 rush, 31 points a game, 25 pass TDs, 20, 10 rush TDs. So we're looking good there. You got your defense. We're at uh, 3,286 3, yards allowed, 2,313 pass, 973 rush, 255 points, 13 sacks, no fumbles with seven interceptions. So we love that. No fumble recoveries. The team's doing well. Um, I think we have a college. Are we in the college football playoff bracket right now? We are. We are. So. Um, we just got to continue to win games. That's really what it comes down to. That's really what it comes down to. So, do we have anybody in the Heisman watch? No. Do we have anybody on any awards? Player of the year, head coach of the year, best quarterback. Uh, no. Oh, well, actually, somewhat. Yeah, Stephen Julie eighth. Okay. I don't know. We're not gonna look at too much of the awards. Let's just keep playing, I guess. Um, there's some bold projections. Curious to see what that looks like. Um, right now we're here, so that's good. I mean, we'll see if we get invited to play in a bowl. That would be awesome. A lot of bowls here. So, let's try to keep it up. All right, we got Deontrez Stokely, uh, from Louisville, Kentucky, three-star, committing to our program next year, as well as Bobby McNeil, four-star from Alpharetta, Georgia, right outside linebacker. Not too shabby. Steve Angeli, senior quarterback, 14 yards, 4 TDs, 2 interceptions. Uh, offense player of the week in our conference. Wonderful stuff. All right, we got Lonnie Massey, Lakeville, Minnesota, 3-star from, well, I just said where he's from. Tight end, so not too shabby. All right, we got Dakota McClellan from St. Louis, Missouri, committing right outside linebacker, coming over to the Fighting Irish next season, as well as Rashad Cockrell from Stowe, Ohio, right end. Love to see it from him. Great name, too. Offense player of the week, Cam Williams. Three receptions, 69 yards, two TDs against Pittsburgh, where we got the W. So good job there from him. We'd love to see it. All right, we got Demario Lugo from Downington. Uh, Downington, Pennsylvania, four-star cornerback. Welcome to the squad and the program. So Joshua Burnham, senior, three tackles, three tackles for losses against Stanford. He was the defense player of the week in the independence. So we'd love to see that. Very nice. Very, very nice. And Cam Williams as well, Offense Player of the Week. Seven receptions, 98 yards, two touchdowns. We got ourselves another commit, Durante Burrow from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Four-star recruit, free safety. 
Definitely needed that one. We got the college football playoff here. We're the number one ranked team in the nation. We're taking on 18th length ranked Louisiana, the Ragin Cajuns, uh, which is awesome. Let's see how we fare here. We'll take a look at the college playoff bracket for those that are curious. Uh, we had a great season. Uh, we're technically the fifth seed here, but we are the number one team in the nation, according to the poll. And uh, we have some early signing days, so I'm sure we can get some more players, potentially, which is awesome. Obviously, I can't do any recruiting, but let's just take a quick look at the season stats. Uh, just to see some of the players. I mean, obviously, Angeli had a good season. 34 TD, 7 interceptions. He's a senior, graduating senior. There's going to be a lot of guys competing for the uh, spot next year. So, will it be one of these guys? Will it be one of these guys? I will see. I mean, rush-wise... Love was awesome. He's a junior, but he might go to the draft. We'll see. Price was solid as well. He's graduating. So we're definitely going to need some running backs. I mean, Jabran Payne is going to be a senior as well. So, yeah, we definitely need some backs for sure. Great house was awesome. He had a nice year. 15 receiving TDs from Cam Williams is awesome too. So um, I had the devil's number in terms of receiving yards. Charles, too many sacks last. 16. Come on now. 68 tackles from Snead to lead the team. We got six stacks from Hinnish, Donovan Hinnish. A few other guys here. Um, we got 10 guys, 10 interceptions as a team. There's your kicking, there's your punting, kick return and punt return. Uh, love with ATD. Now, let's go to the quick sim. All right, and here we are about to enter. It's pretty cool. That was pretty nice. Uh, the stadium and all that looks good. Uh, but we're on, hopping on to the Super Sim. So we're going to jump ahead to the end of the game. And I mean, this is a game we should be able to win. And we're up 7 0, so that's a good start. They're going to tie it up, though, end of the first quarter. And they're going to take the lead 10 7. And we're going to take the lead right back 14 10, going to the half. We're up 14 10. And they are now up 17-14. End of the third quarter, 24-14. We're up. It's 24-21. Now we're taking the lead. It is close. Okay, they got, they're in the zone. All right, second and 12. Three-yard rush. Third and nine. Get a stop here. Get an injury. Fuck, they got a first down. Oh, they're going to score. Yeah, they're definitely going to score. Yep, one yard rush, TD. Extra points, good. Kickoff. Little touchback, and this is where we enter. All right. Might as well give you guys some more gameplay here. Two minutes, 28 seconds to go. And counting. We have all of our TD uh, timeouts. I just said TD. That's a first down, by the way. So, not too shabby. I mean, we have time. Thing is, Louisiana also has all of their timeouts, so that's the tricky part here. Got to get rid of it, and we do. Good job, in Jelly. And uh, that's probably going to take us to the two-minute warning. Could not get a snap off after, but that's fine. Two-minute warning. We're about middle middle of the field, so that's good. Um. We got a lot of time there, a lot of time, and not a great pass. I mean, at that point, just run. You have to. You you you, you might as well just get a little yardage there. You know, I get why you don't want to do it, but god dang, it's a video game. All right, there you go. That's something. Pretty terrible, but third and ten now. Need a first down. Need a first down. Gotta get a first down. That was embarrassing. That was pathetic. Well, we got to go for it. Fourth and 20. I mean, this is the game right here, so if we can't get it, it's, uh, it's over. And... Do something. Do something. And the game is over. Uh, can I pause? Can I pause? Can I pause? Can I pause? How do I adjust the speed? Can you just not pause? Like, is there no way to pause? 
Is there really no way to pause? Okay, thank you. And then the thing is, is that if I, I it's unsafe progress we lost. So how do I go back into the game? Can I just not jump? I do. I gotta watch the rest. Oh, there we go. Ho, ho! Wait a minute. What did I just do? I did something. Oh, super sim. There we go. Uh, jump ahead to the end of the game because it's over. No, I pressed something. Second and twelve, but I, I pressed something and I wanted to. Well, that was embarrassing. I, I wanted to go back to the super sim and change the speed. It just didn't let me do that. I, I'm spamming buttons. Okay. We're going to go fast. And there we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, the game's over. We lost. Um, yeah, terrible. Horrible last play by Angeli. That's what we're going to remember you by. You're not Riley. You're not Riley, my friend. You are Steve Angeli. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That is definitely unfortunate way to uh, end this season. But, good, like I said, good thing we got our national championship. Otherwise, I'd be I'd be a raging Cajun right now. We have defense player of the week, uh, Christian Gray. He had one interception, six tackles. I mean, good for him. Uh, but that's not going to make me feel better about myself. The three-star recruit, Maurice Samia from Twin Falls, Idaho, left outside linebacker. Welcome to Notre Dame next season all right so we had a bunch of players leave uh here are the draft results for the guys that get get drafted uh, a few guys in the third round pauling wagner mickey so pretty solid i mean we'll see what happens uh going forward for our team obviously we're losing a lot of upperclassmen but we have the transfer portal i'm gonna do some off-season recruiting try to get some more talent um here's who we have so far as you can see still waiting on tabor to uh get us we'll give him a little visit maybe he'll want a podcast interview and then we'll uh send the house and i think we're good though we're probably gonna end up getting him before even all that he's basically at the point of committing so we should be good there um, in terms of prospects list i do need a running back so um Yeah, uh, transfer portal we'll look at. Top guys in the transfer portal. I mean, Coleman would be nice, but I don't really need him. I'm going to go with uh, Bull with him, and then I'm going to go with Smith. Try to get some guys here that might help out our team a little bit more next year. And then we could go with McCray as well. And then Claire. I'm just going to throw them guys and see if we get some transfers on our team. All right, we got uh, Jameson to commit from Lake City, Florida. Four-star free safety. Welcome to the Fighting Irish. All right, we got Relic Brown to commit. Four-star from Stockton, California. Halfback. He's coming to our team. But really, that's a transfer. I don't remember. But he's committed. And we got Trish, uh, Christian McRae, four-star wide receiver, Avon, Indiana. And Max Clare, four-star Guilford, Indiana, tight end. Not too shabby. All right, we got James Scott. Uh, from Greenwood, Indiana, four-star recruit right end to commit to Notre Dame next season. We'd love to see that from him. All right, we got George Taylor from Gillette, Wyoming, defensive tackle, three-star, coming to our program. Charles Galway, four-star from Bismarck, to North Dakota, right tackle. We got Eric Emanuel from Laurel, Mississippi, two-star corner, and Nick Delgado, three-star corner from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, committing to Notre Dame. All right, so we are... In our third season, currently ranked number seventh going in. Let's take a look at the roster. I'm curious to see what we've got uh, in store. And it's a pretty interesting team, I got to say. Um, I wish there was a way you can kind of see the how many seniors we have. But, yeah. So, Minchi is going to be our storing QB. He's 83 overall right now. We got Burden, who's, though, right there. On uh, 80 overall card, pounds, and there's uh, Gilberry. Um we also picked up don't know if they're gonna see pt got love on the team with brown and kramer so there's your run three running backs we got pleasance as a fullback you got great house williams mccray top three wide receivers we got a lot of wide receivers are really good so our worst one is a 79 so it's pretty good claire's your tight end we've got charles still senior left tackle left guard nap 
Uh, Pendleton center with Awning, they're both pretty good. And then you got your right guard. So oh, we're stacked on that too. So yeah, I mean that's pretty good. Pete, Galloway, Charles, Avant. On two shabby on the right tackle. Left end we're pretty good on. Right end, not bad. Uh, there's your defensive tackles. Decent. You got a lot of them. So we're good there. Left outside linebacker. Mid linebacker looks really good. And then your right outside linebacker. Might just be a little low on the amount of positions. Corner, we are good on that. We don't need any corners, I don't think. I mean, only one of them is a senior, and it's Christian Gray. So should be good on that front. Free safety, strong safety. Good on. There's your kicking and your punting. So let's see what happens this season. I mean, I feel like we should be pretty good. The only way to find out is to simulate. So... I'll do that. I also got some recruiting to do, so I'm gonna do that as well. Uh, who the th who's the top? Let's see, top prospects. Number one prospect is a free safety, which we don't need. Wide receiver we need. We'll target a wide receiver. Um, right end, we'll target a right end. Might as well. We need a tight end, sure. Let's get an athlete. Uh, it's a run stopper. Uh, we'll get an athlete, why not? Let's yeah, let's go back to recommended, and um, I'll just kind of add some more talent there, and we'll figure it out going forward. At defense player of the week, Morgan Hopper, one tackle, one force fumble against Michigan State, and then Cam Williams as well is going to be the offense player of the week versus Michigan State. Eight receptions, 170 yards, three TDs. Congrats to those guys for the contributions to their program, and then also offense player of the week too. <laughs> I mean, he just continues to rack them up. Jacoby Laurent, one interception, three tackles, one TD against FC, FCS Northwest, uh, in which is a game we won, by the way. So that's awesome to see. There's Manuel Kramer. He had a good game, nine carries, six, seven yards, three TDs. Shout out to you, my friend. And is that L? Yeah, that's all. Drake Bowen, eight tackles, one tackle for loss against Baylor. Unfortunately, we lost that one, but he had a good game. Uh... But yeah, right now, 2-1, and one, down, down to 16. But we got a big game here against Miami. Let's see if we can win. All right, got to commit here. Keelan Haddad from West Lafayette, Indiana. Four-star right outside linebackers coming to the Fighting Irish. So Kenny Minchie had a good game. 480 yards, 5 TDs, 2 interceptions in the win against Miami. He was the offense player of the week in the conference. All right, we got Stephen Walls to commit from Columbia, South Carolina. A five-star tight end. That is a great pickup for the Fighting Irish and as well as Dennis Lincoln, middle linebacker from Georgetown, Kentucky, and David Hasty, a running back, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Tremaine Nujar, or Newhar from Gibsonia, Pennsylvania, a four-star mid linebacker, and James Brown, another four-star mid linebacker from Zionsville, Indiana. Wow, what a day. All right, we got Earl Golden, four-star from Indianapolis, Indiana, strong safety, committing to our team, also known as SS. Short stop. Right, we got Ezra Shaver to commit four star from Indianapolis, Indiana. Right end. Welcome to the squad. Next season, that is. Evan, uh, Kenny Minchie, 483 yards, three TDs, two interceptions. Week six versus Stanford. Offense player of the week. All right, we got Darren Addington to commit from Charlotte, North Carolina. A five star right end. Welcome to the Fighting Irish next season. As well as Tyrone Comar, Indianapolis, Indiana's tight end. Four star recruit. John McGee, three-star with Newark, Ohio. Wide receiver is coming to join the Fighting Irish. We love to see it. Drake Bowen, uh, nine tackles, one defense, uh, one deflection, and then one tackle for loss against Virginia in the W for us. And this is a good place to show you guys the stats. So if we take a look at the team stats right here, uh, for those that are curious, we go to the independents. I mean, if you guys want to see... Uh, independence right here. We have 3,245 offensive yards, 2,425 passing. I mean, we're scoring almost 35 points a game. We're looking really good defensively. Um, it could be better, um, but we have a good record, so I mean, I can't be mad. I mean, we're not too great, but um, how are they first? I don't understand that, but okay. I could be missing somebody. I could be missing something. Anyways, keep it up. Playing well. Let's just try to keep recruiting uh, recruiting players. We have a pretty solid recruiting class already, again, for our you know fourth and final season. We got some guys coming along, so it's not going to be too bad. Again, I'm not too crazy about it because 
especially in the last season. But yeah, we already have the ninth best. So we're top 10 right now, and we're going to continue to grow a little bit more. I mean, Florida looks like they're stacking up a little bit. Penn State's got four five-star recruits, which is pretty insane. So they look like they're going to be pretty good. TCU is the number one ranked team right now. Cam Williams, Florida State, was the Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, unfortunately, we lost that game, though, but he had a good uh, good game. We got Emmett Fantuz to uh, commit. Left end from Akron, Ohio, three-star, not too shabby, as well as Brenton LaRue, three-star, left outside linebacker from Lakewood, Ohio. Pretty cool stuff. Bryce Young, sophomore, left end, one sack, six tackles, and two tackles for losses against Navy. All right, we got Cassius Dobbs to commit right guard from Cincinnati, Ohio, four-star recruit coming to the Fighting Irish, as well as Hugh Loomer, Clareton, Pennsylvania, three-star left end. Not too shabby indeed. All right, we got Antonio Freeman to commit a five-star wide receiver from Hazard, Kentucky. That is a big pickup for the Fighting Irish. Welcome to the squad, Freeman. All right, well, Defense Player of the Weekend, Syracuse, was Tyson for two sacks, four tackles, one tackle for loss. Uh, we lost the game, though, which is unfortunate. Um, we're 6-5. and five. Don't look like we're going to make the college football playoff this year. Kevin Minchie, 245, three TDs, no interceptions. All right, so we were playing in the Hawaii Bowl. We had a down year, 6-6, six and six, but... We got ourselves at least to a bowl game against the Rebels. Well, now we get, we'll see if we can win it, I guess. Um, but yeah, definitely a bit of a down year for us this year, unfortunately. Um, but we do have, I think, some more signings. Um, Godwin is not one of them, and neither is Cleveland. But hopefully we can get O'Malley and Garrison to kind of just add to our class. I mean, right now we are, we've are we dropped down to 12. If we get those guys, it'll uh, maybe put us up to 11. Maybe. But not a bad class. I mean, we're only 16. It's kind of crazy. It's not really a lot, but, you know, it's all good. We're just going to keep going, see what happens here against uh, UNLV. We're going to hop onto the Hawaii Bowl, and it would be nice to win a uh, bowl the game this year. That's for sure. I mean, we're clearly better than UNLV. This should be an easy win for us. All right, Hawaii Bowl. Let's see how we fare here. We're going to the Super Sim. I mean, I would think we should win this game fairly easily, you would think. Um, first quarter, we're up 7-0. End of the first quarter, we're up 10-0 now. And going to the second half, it is still 10-0. Now it is 10-7. UNLV takes lead. We are now up 13-7. UNLV is actually winning 21-13 right now. What is going on? Third quarter, and we're going to lose this game. We actually just lost to a very inferior team. Okay. Well, this team is very disappointing. Uh, it, it, we, 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 got our, we got our national championship, and then we've been disappointing ever since. Will Craven, man. Four catch, 100 yards, one TD. You'd think you'd win this game, but EA doesn't want me to do that. Maybe you had some injuries. I don't know, man, but that is crazy. 21-13. to 13. I thought this game would be super easy, but... Let me down. This team let me down. Yeah. I mean, a great first half. Horrible second half. Putrid first half. Well, decent, okay. Decent first half. Putrid second half, though. Um, I mean, just looking at the stats right here. I mean, yeah, it's not not good whatsoever. 3 of 13 on third downs is terrible as well. And we allowed them to be 7 of 16. It's just not going to work. All right, so we got some players leaving here um, from graduation. Some guys are projected to go pro, which would be nice. Um, so we'll see if they get drafted. I assume they will. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. We're going to advance the week and take a look and see who got drafted. Moment of truth. Okay, Zach O'Malley reaches through the schools. That's nice. Let's see who got drafted. We got... Ooh, we got six guys drafted. Two in the third round, two in the fourth. Fifth in the sixth round. Not too shabby. Makes sense that Jeremiah Love went in the third round. He's a pretty solid player for us, so... Good for, the, good for the guys, congrats, and wish you the best in your pro careers. All right, we got Alex Gale Garrison to commit three-star running back from Sunnyvale, California, as well as Zach O'Malley from Staten Island, New York, three-star left guard. Pretty cool stuff. We got Desmond to come to Notre Dame, three-star from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. We got uh, Roland Kitchen from Louisville, Kentucky, four-star mid-linebacker, as well as Kevin Vila. Conway Arkansas's right tackle, not too shabby indeed. So going into our fourth and final season, I want to show you guys the roster that we have currently right now. So, I mean, it's 
on paper, it looks pretty good. I mean, Minchie is our starting QB. He's 87 overall. Senior. I mean, we've got Burns of an 83, so he'll take, probably take over. Cars there. Gilberry and Pounds in case something goes wrong. Uh, running backs aren't too strong, though. We got Kramer, Hasty, Wuchard, and Garrison. It's not strong at all. Fullback Pleasance is okay. Wide receivers look really good, though, so that's something to keep note of. Tight end, Larson. We got Absher, Muller, left tackles. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. Left guards look solid. Our two senior centers. We got some right guards here. Our right tackles. Not too shabby. This guy is a freshman redshirt. Game in Avant, so that's cool to see. So, uh, We've got Young, 88 overall. We have... Bobakar who's up to a 90. You got your right ends, right? Your defensive tackles are looking like this. So, that's good. Um, there are your left outside linebackers, your mid linebackers, your right outside linebackers, corners, free safety, strong safeties, kicking, and punting. All right. I don't know if I got a kicker. So I guess that game, the game probably just gave me a kicker. Um, that's fine. So yeah, the question is, I mean, this year, obviously, we're not ranked at all. We're not in the top 25. We're coming off a weak season. So that kind of makes sense. Now, on paper, in terms of overalls, like, I feel like we're pretty good. Oregon State, you got Boston College. Some interesting schools here, just kind of looking at them. But uh, Georgia, 91. They're better than us overall-wise, but I don't care. I feel like we're going to be a pretty good team. The only final day was to simulate, so we'll see what happens. I'm not going to do too much recruiting since, obviously, this is the final season. But I want to make sure our team is set up for the future after I finish the video anyway. So I'll still be doing some recruiting, and that's what I'll show you guys as well. All right, so I, I hope I showed the roster. I don't know if I did. I think I did. If I didn't, I mean, it's fine. Jameson Tabor, freshman, defensive player of the week. Week one against FCS Southeast. Uh, two tackles, so good job there from him. Uh, to be anybody else. No. But we're one on one right now. Uh, I set the recruiting to auto since obviously it's in our fourth and final season. It really doesn't matter too much. It's really about what happens this season. So I'm just going to keep going week by week. I'll show you guys stats like around like week seven or eight. We got our first commit through three-star QB Mike Pippen from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. And that's cool as well. Good for him. I right, got Sean McBurrows, three-star from Farrell, Pennsylvania, left tackle, as well as Jared Kindred, left tackle from Danville, Indiana. Not too shabby there. So again, we're trying to make sure that this program is in good shape even after I'm done with the video, right? That's the main goal. KK Smith, four receptions, 145 yards, and three TDs in, against Clemson this week. So congrats to him being Offense Player of the Week. All right, Cam Putasi, Westchester, Ohio, four-star recruit, wide receiver, is coming to Notre Dame. Welcome to our program. Same thing with Stephen Veal, right guard, four-star, Columbus, Ohio. Emmanuel Dwyer, Norfolk, Massachusetts, right guard. And James Folkers, three-star, Cincinnati, Ohio, left tackle. Not too shabby. Shout out to the game for uh, doing a good job rec of uh, recruiting. And Alex Ninkovich, sophomore, 10 receptions, 265 yards, and four touchdowns was the FBS Independence Offense Player of the Week against Duke. And we are 3-1 and one right now. Fantastic start. And he's also the National Player Offense of the Week. I mean, that, that makes sense. I mean, when you have that kind of game, I would assume he was also going to be national too. And Bulbacar is our Defensive Player of the Week against Georgia Tech. Four tackles, three tackles for losses, right end. Good for him. We'd love to see it. And Kenny uh, Minchie, 357 yards, one TD, Offense Player of the Week as well. Any nationals? Doesn't look like it, but we're four and one. Got a big game here against Wisconsin. Let's see if we can beat them. Bring four star Wor Worcester, Massachusetts. Four star recruit, wide receiver. We also got Lewis Bannon, four star from Everett, Massachusetts, right guard. We're doing a great job recruiting, I gotta say. Juan Seviano Jr. Uh, is a junior. One sack, four tackles, defense player of the week against Wisconsin. We are five and one right now, which we love to see. And we also have, once again, Ninji. 24 yards, 3 TDs, 1 interception. We're looking good this season for sure. 
All right, so I'm, we're kind of like close to halfway through. We're six and one right now. We got a bit uh, easy game here against Wake Forest. Got to be able to beat that team. They haven't won yet. But uh, if we just take a quick look at the roster and the stats so far through the first half of the season. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the roster. I thought I did. I could be wrong. But I'm going to show you guys the uh, stats, so it doesn't really matter. So here we go. Season stats uh, for the guys. I mean, and she's been great. I mean, you guys have been seeing how he's been doing. Uh, Kramer, Minchie, Hasty, or Hasty. Now they're doing their thing out there. Receiving wise, Ninkovich has been really good. 8 and 12 yards, ATD, 620 and 5 for Smith. So, our blocking, we have allowed not too many sacks. I mean, I like a little less from Avant, 7 already, but, you know, we'll take it. Def uh, defensively, tackles 46 and Boasek. Uh, Braden, Brandon's doing well. Donovan Gore, 33 tackles, 32 from Eric Ladd. Um, there's Dom Allers, who's already an 82 overall. Love to see that. Three sacks there from Stripling lead the team. He's also hurt right now, though, it looks like. But, um, and reception-wise, seven as a team. There's your kicking, your punting, your kick return, your punt return. Um, and then I feel like it's more important to show in the NFL. Again, I like the recruiting the best. That's why I show it. Let's just try to win more games um, and make the uh, college playoff and maybe win our second college championship. All right, so Kevin Minchie, senior. Once again, Wake Forest, 327, five TDs, not a single interception. This dude is absolutely killing it, and uh, I assume we won. Yeah, we're now 19th ranked. Got another commit here, Urbic, four-star recruit from Belmont, Massachusetts. Get a lot of Massachusetts guys, which makes sense, I guess. Late, uh, Landisville, Pennsylvania's very own John Carney, right tackle. And then we got uh, Uhatafe, corner from Mechanicsville, Virginia, four star recruit. Love it. David Bigsby, four star from Canton, Ohio, center, as well as Emmanuel Sanders, Man in Indianapolis, Indiana, center as well. Tim Dora, four star, Cincinnati, Ohio, right tackle. A lot of commits. Uh, Bobakar. Uh, FBS Independence Defense Player of the Week against Virginia Tech. Three tackles, two tackles for loss. We got the loss, so they're undefeated. They're a really good team. I think they're the number one team in the NFL, uh, NFL NCAA, so, which makes sense if they're undefeated. John Isaac, uh, Avon, Indiana, four-star center. Another commit, three-star quarterback, Oakland, California's Alex Mays is coming to the Fighting Irish to continue after I leave. Mitch Bruss, mentor, Ohio, three-star running back. We love to see it, and um, I think we won this week as well, or no? I don't know. But Donovan Gore, one interception, three tackles against Michigan, West Michigan. Senior, had a great game. And, um, yep, of course, Kenny, 342, two TDs, no interceptions. I assume we won. We did. We're 16th ranked right now. Big game against Stanford. It's a rivalry. Got another quarterback. Venzel gathers three wor three stars from Greenwood, Ohio, uh, Indiana. Why am I saying Ohio? I can't even speak. Three star recruit, Greenwood, Indiana, quarterback. Got another commit. Four star Sam Coleman from Brownsburg, Indiana, right tackle. Love to see that. And um, I think, uh, yeah, we're 10 and 2 right now. I believe we are in the college football playoff. We have a bunch of buys, so I'm assuming yes. And we are not. But I don't think... I, wait, I think we still have, like, another game or two. Unless we're, like, just in bowls. Uh, no, I guess we're just in bowls. Okay. So we didn't make the college football playoff. I mean, we had a good season. But, yeah, I guess just not good enough to make it. Because it looks like we're not going to be there. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it changed. But it looks like as though... We're not going to be there. Christopher Zena. Wow, another Clemson guy winning uh, Heisman. And, uh, no, we're in the Ventures Bowl against the Texas State Bobcats. Right, let's try to win it, I guess. All right, we're in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, super Seminate here against the Bobcats. I feel like we should be able to beat this team, but, again, I say that every time, and then what happens is we lose. So we'll see what happens here. It's a rainy day. First score goes to us. We're up 3-0. End of first quarter, 10-0 now. And we're going to make it to the second half, 10-3, to halftime. And they have tied the game up now. It's 13-10. to It's a close one, end of the third quarter. Are they going to score here? We make it 20-10. to um, Three-yard rush, third and goal. 
Fourth and goal now. Let's go for the field goal here. And we are going to win 23 to 10, it looks like. As we get ourselves a bowl victory. Not too shabby. Got ourselves a national championship and another bowl victory. Ventures Bowl in our final season. I mean, I, I can't be too mad about that for the guys. Shout out to Kenny Minchie. 219 pass yards, 71% completion percentage, two touchdowns as well. Uh, love to see it. Love to see it indeed um, as the guys get the job done in the final, uh, what looks to be the final game. Uh, we'll take a quick glance at the stats, just the team stats here. I mean, looks like we did pretty solid. Yeah, third down conversions were good, a little lackluster, but, eh, you know, we did. We did all right. Uh, no turnovers, which was nice. Beat them on total yards, possession time. Yeah, fairly easily win there. Uh, and I think that's pretty much about it. I mean, I'll go to the college football playoffs, see who wins, and then we'll just close out the video, I believe. Just uh, to highlight, Cam Williams, four receptions, 61 yards, two TDs. Independence Offensive Player of the Week in that bull week. So congrats to him and his contributions to the program. Well, there it is, end of the season. End of the season, number 12, um, ranked. I mean, not too shabby. Our coach stability, though, is not great. Not sure what that uh, quite means, but um, I guess uh, that is all. Looks like Kansas State won the national championship. Congrats to them, I guess. Um, you never know who's going to win it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess with that being said, we're going to close out this video by going to the full screen. You guys, well, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below some more videos. Remember, socials play the second channel and main channel down below in the description if you like the content for DJB. We got ourselves a national championship. I'd say that's successful. A bunch of bowl wins. I mean, the fighting average is a pretty easy team, though, because obviously they're a uh, five-star. But, well, a high four-star, you know. Hey, the wheel's the wheel. If there's a team you want me to do that I haven't done already, I've only done a few. It's Arkansas State, Wisconsin, and obviously Notre Dame. Any other team is on the table. So let me know down in the comments below, and I won't have to spin a wheel. Otherwise, I will spin a wheel. That's just how it works. Okay. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to head on out. Take care. See you soon. Peace.